Welcome to a lesson on writing algebraic expressions from applications. Let's look at our first example. We're asked to write an algebraic expression that represents the perimeter of the figure shown below, and we want to simplify it completely. In general, to find the perimeter of a polygon, we sum the lengths of all the sides, but in this case, because we have a rectangle, we can write the algebraic expression using the formula p equals 2l plus 2w, which means the perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. But because we're looking for an expression for the perimeter, not an equation, we're only going to be using the right side of this formula. So our expression will be in the form of 2l plus 2w. And again, the reason we have 2 times l plus 2 times w for rectangle is because the opposite sides have the same length. So using the expression 2l plus 2w, for this rectangle, their perimeter would be 2 times 8x minus 2 plus 2 times 3x plus 5. Now because we're asked to simplify the expression though, we want to clear the parentheses by distributing and then combine like terms. So we'll distribute 2 here as well as here. 2 times 8x is 16x, and we have minus 2 times 2, so we have minus 4, plus 2 times 3x is 6x, and then we have plus 2 times 5, which is 10. Now we combine like terms, we have two x terms, and we have two constants. 16x plus 6x is 22x, and negative 4 plus 10 is equal to positive 6, so we have plus 6. So this expression will give us the perimeter of the rectangle. Again, we don't want to write p equals 22x plus 6, because that would be an equation, and we're asked to write an algebraic expression. The other option to find the expression for the perimeter would be to add the lengths of the four sides, and because the opposite sides have the same length, the length of this side would be 8x minus 2, the length of this side would be 3x plus 5. So to show this another way, we could also write the expression as 8x minus 2 plus 8x minus 2 plus 3x plus 5 plus 3x plus 5. And again, this is the reason why we have this formula here. Notice how we have two lengths and two widths. Combining like terms in this form, we have 8x plus 8x plus 3x plus 3x, which would be 22x. Then we have negative 2 plus negative 2, that's negative 4, plus 5, that's 1, plus 5 is 6. So again, we get 22x plus 6. Let's look at our next example. Same question, we're asked to write an algebraic expression that represents the perimeter of the figure shown below. Notice how this is not a rectangle, so we won't be using the expression 2L plus 2W to find the expression for the perimeter. We're going to add or sum the lengths of all the sides. But notice how the lengths of some of the sides are not labeled, so let's first analyze our figure. Let's first find the length of this long side here. Well, because 5x plus 9x is equal to 14x, notice how the sum of these two lengths will give us the length of this long side here, which we now know would be 14x. Now let's find the short length here. Well, if this length is 4x and this length is 3x, this short length here would be 4x minus 3x, which is x, or if we want 1x. Let's go and just label this x. Another way to think of this is 3x plus what would equal 4x, which again is x or 1x. Now that we have the lengths of all the sides, to find the algebraic expression for the perimeter, we just need to sum or add the lengths of all the sides. To make sure we don't miss any sides, let's start with this length here and work our way clockwise. So the perimeter would be 4x plus 5x plus x plus 9x plus 3x plus 14x. Notice all these are like terms, so now we'll combine them to give the expression in simplest form. And if it's helpful, we can think of x as 1x. So 4x plus 5x plus 1x, that'd be 10x, plus 9x, that's 19x, plus 3x, that's 22x, plus 14x would be 36x. So the expression for the perimeter of the polygon is 36x. Example 3, 
the clothing store is having a 65% off sale on all of its merchandise. Let P represent the original price of an item at the store. Let an algebraic expression to represent the sale price of the item simplify the expression. So to find the sale price, we begin with the original price, which is P, and then we subtract 65% of the original price. So let's review how we find 65% of an amount. The first thing we do is we convert the percent to a decimal. 65% as a decimal is 0 0.65. To do this conversion, we remove the percent sign and divide by 100 or move the decimal point to the left two places. So to find the percent of a number, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply. So we want to subtract 65% of the original price, which would be 65% of P. So we subtract 0 0.65 times P or to 0.65p. So this expression will give us the sale price, but these are like terms, so we need to combine the terms by subtracting. So again, if it's helpful, we can think of p as 1p. 1p minus 0.65p would be 0.35p. This is a simplified expression that would give the sale price. Before we look at example four, though, notice how this 0.35 represents the percent of the original price that you're actually paying. If we take 100% of the original price and subtract 65% of the original price, notice how that leaves 35% of the price that you must pay, which again is why we have this expression here of 0.35p. Now for our last example, a local carrier service estimates its monthly operating cost to be $1,500 plus 85 cents per delivery. The service generates revenue of $6 for each delivery. Let D represent the number of deliveries in a given month. Write an algebraic expression that represents the monthly profit for making D deliveries per month. So profit is equal to revenue minus cost, where the revenue is the money coming in and the cost is the money going out. So this difference will give us the profit. So to find the expression for the profit, Let's first write the expression for the revenue, then the cost, and then we'll find the difference to find the expression for the profit. So if D is the number of deliveries per month, and each delivery generates $6 of revenue, the expression for the revenue would be 6 times D, or 6D. The cost consists of the fixed cost of $1,500, plus the variable cost of $0.85 cents per delivery. And therefore, the expression for the cost would be 1,500 plus 0.85d. And therefore, the expression for the profit, again, is going to be the revenue minus the cost, which in this case would be 6d minus. Now, we need to subtract the entire cost, so we need to put the cost in parentheses. We have minus the quantity, 1,500 plus 0.85d. So this expression is the expression for the profit, but we do want to simplify it. So we want to clear the parentheses, and because we have subtraction here, if it's helpful, we can think of distributing a negative 1. So we'd have 6d minus 1,500, and then minus 0.85d. And we have two like terms. We have two d terms here and here. So 6d minus 0.85d is going to be 5.15d. So the expression for the profit is 5.15d minus 1,500. Again, this 5.15 came from 6 minus 0.85. So this is a simplified expression for the profit. I hope you found this helpful.